Hello everyone, in this video, let us take a look at this new app called Dark Theme and it was released quite recently. So let us do a review, a quick review of this theme. So I usually spend time every other week and I look for new apps that are released. So I came across this theme called Dark Theme and I was a bit uh, curious to see how this theme will work on uh, Jira server version. So this app is actually a free app and uh, as you can see here that uh, you can uh, install this app on server. Mm -hmm. So let us take a look at uh, the the marketplace listing. So if you look at the Kanban and Scrum board, everything looks black and I think uh, this dark theme is now getting uh, quite popular. So the dashboard is also in black color also when you're looking at your issue. So it looks good. The The marketplace listing is uh, trying to explain it uh, in a nice way. And uh, there are not many things on the marketplace listing about uh, what you can do uh, with this theme because it's nothing but a theme. I believe it will just make everything dark. There is a, a simple uh, sentence that uh, tells you about uh, what this theme will be doing for you. So I've already installed this app uh, on my Jira instance. And uh, the moment you install this app, you will get this uh, small icon, which is uh, a bulb, a light bulb on your main navigation on top. And if you click on it, the whole theme will be different. In Jira, there is not really a concept of a theme unless you are uh, using uh, some uh, custom CSS or maybe you have written uh, some uh, app to basically use that uh, CSS. So the moment you click on this uh, bulb, everything is now dark. And to be honest, uh, I was not really expecting this because when you whenever you install a theme, things some things actually go a bit weird. But right now it is quite uh, okay. In fact, I, I, I think I like it. Uh, I'm able to take a look at uh, my uh, details. However, my image is a bit weird. It looks negative, which is uh, not really a problem for me because uh, I, I don't mind uh, seeing myself uh, in negative, but uh, I think uh, this needs to be uh, something that the de developer should probably uh, think about. A anyways, let us take a look at uh, a few other things. So if you click on the boards, let us take a look at the board and then we'll also take a look at uh, the issue view page. I'll also open uh, maybe my uh, issue navigator and I will probably also open my uh, my issue. So I've, I've uh, opened a couple of tabs and uh, let us take a look at them one by one. So it is still uh, taking some time to load. Uh, so while the pages are loading, I'll probably take a look at my uh, gadget. So my sprint burn down gadget looks all right. I can see some color here, but I believe it is uh, a toned down version of uh, red. And there are some colors, but they are uh, they are a bit dull, which I believe is okay. You don't really want to have a dark theme with everything uh, bright, like all the colors in bright. Uh, and uh, let me maybe take a look at my uh, second dashboard, which is probably uh, same as the earlier one. So uh, overall, I, I think uh, the dashboard is fine. I don't really have complaints. I'm just looking for my structure, structure gadget to load. So I can see here my, uh, my hierarchy, but I'm not sure if uh, Oh yeah, I can see my hierarchy, so it is not bad. I, I, I mean, uh, I, I was a bit, I was a bit worried about uh, whether I will uh, lose the capability of viewing this hierarchy, which is not the case. I can, uh, I can still see the issues under my epic. So let us take a look at uh, the other pages. So the first page that I opened is my Scrum board, which is looking not bad. So the images are fine here. Maybe some problem with the dashboard. Some I'm not sure. But here it looks all right. And uh, let me try to move the issue from one column to another column. I think it is fine. I, I don't have any complaints here. It looks good. 
Let us take a look at the issue navigator. Issue navigator is fine. Let us try to do some search. So if I have to find something like, uh, okay, so this is what I was uh, a bit uh, concerned about. So while you are doing your uh, search using the autocomplete feature of JQL, uh, I'm not sure if you can see this uh, in this video, but uh, uh, when you do autocomplete, you have the options in front of you and then you can use the mouse or maybe your uh, up and down arrow keys to uh, uh, basically move between the, these options. So as I'm doing this uh, down key, uh, as I'm pressing this down key on my keyboard, I can see this uh, uh, highlight. The background is slightly darker. So this is fine and uh, I think this is, uh, I think this, the theme is quite good. I think the developer uh, spend some time uh, testing it and making sure that, that it looks uh, all right. And I'm using uh, a Mac and of course it also depends uh, on the type of monitor uh, that you're using. So uh, do let me know if you have any complaints with this theme. So far on my MacBook Pro, uh, I believe it is a retina display, so it looks all right. So I'm able to do my uh, JQL autocomplete and uh, let us take a look at the issue itself. So the issue itself is uh, looking quite good. I think uh, I personally uh, have no issues with the theme so far and uh, I'm able to read the text. I'm also able to understand uh, what is happening here. Uh, I have my buttons on top. Let me take a look at my workflow. So whenever you have those pop-up windows in Jira, they are usually in a whitish color. Uh, so I can see my my, my workflow in, in this pop-up. There are no colors, which is fine. I don't really have any problem. Uh, maybe uh, maybe it could have been uh, something like uh, a dull version of the same color. Like, you know, you have those different colors uh, for uh, uh, various uh, statuses that you can have in the Jira workflow. So yellow, green, and uh, uh, blue, I believe. So let us take a look at maybe the edit screen. And I believe uh, when you are doing edit or maybe when you're doing create, this screen will look uh, uh, like this. So I think overall, I quite like it. I'm not sure if I'll be using it because I'm more used to the Jira UI that I have been using for many years. And uh, uh, since it is a free app, I don't really mind keeping it on my instance, at least my test instance and uh, maybe the instance that I, I use personally. But I'm, I'm not sure if uh, companies or organization will probably uh, use this theme. Uh, one thing that I believe is possible with this theme is that uh, it can be done by each and every user. So you don't really have to do it for the whole instance. So this is something really good because when the moment you install this app, I believe this icon, this bulb icon will be there for everyone. So overall, my feedback is, uh, is, is positive. I like this app and uh, I believe this is the very first time I'm using something uh, like this on uh, Jira instance, using an app to have a dark theme. So, uh, I think uh, I personally think that this is something that can be useful. Uh, the only thing which is probably a bit weird is my image on my dashboard on the activity stream. So this is something that maybe the developer can uh, look at. I'm not sure if it is a problem with the, my instance because the image is actually looking fine when I'm on my board or maybe somewhere else, but not on the dashboard. So uh, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.